This is week three of my new weekly videos where I go through all the different vintage microphones that I sell every week on my website, and we're going to jump right in. Monday night's microphone was the Electrovoice 668, and these are one of the precursors to today's RH20. They have this crazy mount, which allows for very nice placements, and they also originally had foam on both the top and the bottom of the mic. Now, I believe these have a more full sound than today's RE20. They're also a little bit more colored in the mid-range. So if you like an RE20, this is a good option to have around. And lucky enough, I have an RE20, and we're going to be listening to the two side by side. Wednesday night's microphones were these Grundig GBM 125s. And while it may not look like it, these have the same internals as a Bayer Dynamic M260. Despite having the same internals, the different body and grill type gives these a different sound. And I have an M260 right here, and we're gonna be comparing how these two sound side by side. Friday night's mic and the last mic of this week was the STC 4017. 
These were made in the 1930s and 1940s and were used for broadcasting during World War II. If you don't know, STC came before Kohl's. So Kohl's makes the 4038 today, but they also made a variety of different microphones under the name STC. This one even uses the same connector that a Kohl's does today. So for today's use, this would be a nice option for effects, anything crunchy and lo-fi on drums and other sources. That's the end of another weekly video. As always, you can head to my website, colpixvintage.com, for more info on these mics, more samples, repair requests. I'll see you next week. Thanks for checking this out.